Good evening. Welcome to the January 22nd, 2019 quota selectments meeting. Time being 6.01 p.m. Let the record reflect the members present. Um, is anyone recording the meeting? Anybody else? Okay. First item on the um, agenda, discuss and act on agreement with Churchill and Banks regarding potential for medical marijuana dispensary and riverfront business park properties. We are Ray Lady and Vince. We're here. Just your name for the record. Ray Lady, Vin Jordan. And Churchill and Banks in Compassion Care. Sorry. That's fine. Um, so we sent the proposed um, agreements to council. Did we get those back from council, David? Yeah, uh, we did. And he recommended uh, uh, the, the agreement that's in the packet, uh, which specifies uh, to Churchill and Banks that they got to keep their 1,000 feet provision that was agreed to by the parties at the uh, initial meeting. So it looks like we have two host community agreements, one with Churchill and Banks and one with Liberty Compassion. Yes. And both cite the same $1,000, uh, $1,000. Thousand foot restriction. Yes. Okay. You, your attorneys have had a chance to review this and it came to us, and I sent it back to Allie. She sent it to Mark Rich, and, and we accepted all his changes and sent it back. So everything's good with it. Okay. So that being said, uh, um, I'll entertain a motion to. Well, first, any discussion? Anyone want to discuss it? It's pretty much the same we've discussed last time, um, except for the revisions. Hearing all the comments, uh, I'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion that we uh, forward the agreement, sign the agreement. Uh, second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? These are, that motion's for both uh, yes. Liberty and? Yes. For any dis further discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Opposed. Yeah, I was, give me time. I was getting there. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Motion carries. So that'll do it. We'll sign it. You, you're going to do it now, or we wait you yeah, later? Um, does this have to get posted? I don't know if there's a post period on this. Not that I'm aware of. Uh, we can sign it, but it has to, it has to be dated to. But. Position. So it's two separate companies, but is it like one facility? Uh, with Liberty it's and well, Liberty Compassion is the, it is a, it's an umbrella company, but it's it's a, only one facility. Okay. It's only one. Sorry, it's okay. I've written about you before. He texted me. Yeah, we said. Here. Cannot do that. Yep. This is just different. This isn't that. No, that's the letter for the other project. Yeah, no, that's we're just doing this right now. All right. Okay. So it's getting passed down. As soon as it's done, I'm sure you can take it. Um, we'll have to have signed copies also. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, because all that's going to be. Part that's of what, what I mean. Okay. So we'll. You can pick up the signed copy. We'll we'll have our signed copies. We'll take copies. The date's not in there. The date's okay. not on it. Um, you will have you have to sign it, and then we'll exchange copies. That's usually how it works. Unless you want to. It's sign actually Richard Bakari's name on it, anyhow. Oh. So I have I have uh, three copies of that agreement signed by him. Just the new one, not not the both of them. I think he already did the other, one, didn't he? The host community agreement. This one's it's just for. Uh, this one's Liberty Compassion. Nope, these are both Churchill and Banks. So we signed a copy. He needs to sign a copy. And we keep it. Is copy. that the same one as that one? Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. I don't know if the host community agreement is much well, it's as just a, an agreement. a side agreement yeah. to the original host Please. community agreement. Yeah. There's three of them here. That'll save us time. Then that way I we'll, know, that's why I brought them. We'll sign these, <laughs> and then that way, once we sign those, we'll give everything to you, and you should be all set. Correct. Perfect. The only, again, we'll still have to put in the date. Date's wrong. Right. Right. 
It's an eight, it says 18 on here, so I just want to make sure it's got the other stuff. It does, it's just they carry the 18. So no, I, I'm going to, can I suggest that we hang on to these? We sign them, yeah, hang on to them. Then right, we'll and then, change. and then we'll the clean them up with the dates, the correct dates and everything, and then we'll have the town administrator and Tim forward everything over to you. And then yeah. that way, we don't have to go looking for another signature, it's already there. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mail these or should I come and get them? Whatever is easiest for you. As I, soon as I, you. I, I, well, when will they be doing? Tomorrow? I mean, it's only dates, right? Yeah, tomorrow. Well, no, I'll, call, I'll call Allie mm -hmm. and find out if she's got them in her possession. And when I know they're in her possession, I'll come get them. Is that okay? Yeah. Want a file folder? Yeah. Oh, you don't want it for that, though, do you? <laughs> Okay. You're all set. Thank you very Excuse much. Excuse, Bob. Thank you very much. Thank no, you have to stay for the rest of the meeting. <laughs> that's your penance. Yeah, I know it. So that's your penance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roger when that. are you slated to be open? Four left. Oh, uh, like ten days? No, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. No, that's no, fine. No, no, no. It's it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. Yeah, okay. Go to cannabis commission and go through that whole process. You're going to get a license and all of that. Okay. It's going to, it'll be some time. This is just another step. Approved <laughs> road opening permit for 7 Campanelli Drive as submitted by Eversauce. Has everybody had a chance to take a look at it, what they're looking to do? It's just an extension. Make uh, make, go ahead. Make a motion. Make a motion to endorse. Second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Here and none. All in favor? Aye. Approved 2018-19 snowplow contract for Dean Petty, uh, Bryant Hill Farms. Make a motion to approve. I'll second that. We have everything from him. Yep. Everything's in thing. Motion made and second. And any discussion on the motion? Here and none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Act in agreement with Briggs Engineering and Testing Construction Testing for Police Station Project. Um, I'm the uh, OPM has forwarded to us information regarding uh, basically testing for certain materials such as soils, concrete, precast. Uh, post tensioning, structural steel, fireproofing, masonry, and bituminous concrete. Uh, the estimated cost of the uh, uh, testing would be $13,090. Um, I would recommend that the board do this. This is relative to the police station uh, during the construction phase. Uh, the the uh, OPM and the uh, architect uh, specify that. You need to test certain materials to make sure that they are the same types of materials that were specified in the contract that was signed by both parties. This company provides that testing services uh, to uh, to verify that the the uh, materials that are being used are correct in the, the to the specification. It's um, a third party construction testing. Um, it was already in the scope of work um, since uh, we had set aside under $20,000 for it. They hit the mark, um, and Briggs is the one that uh, Taylor McDonald and Pomeroy has recommended to um, this board. This board will also um, will have to endorse the contract, but um, we'll also have to take it to um, the uh, police station subcommittee for their endorsement as well. Okay, I'll so make a motion to approve. So this basically it's just an oversight account yeah it's, I mean, a, oversight it's, engineer. A, it's a third party construction testing um, and what they do is they look over um, they test the soils the concrete they review the framing the steel um, mm -hmm. all of that stuff so that's all that is motion made and seconding discussion on the motion here and none all in favor aye act on renewal for the PEG agreement access into municipal agreement between the towns of Middleborough and Freetown um, this is the Lake Cam M Cam agreement. It's up again, and I guess we'd sign one year deals, two one year deals, or three one year deals. How does that work? Because we weren't sure what we were doing. Uh, this is the M Cam deal. Last year we signed a one year deal. They, want they suggest they were expressed interest in doing three years at the same terms as the one year for this year and the next two. Left. I had the uh, town administrator provide last year's uh, negotiation tables and rates. Um, <coughs> the reason I did that is when you shake out the numbers, they're pretty close whether we went with just Lake Cam or if we went with the mid Middleborough uh, uh, and Lake Cam, the M Cam and Lake Cam. 
Um, I don't know how you feel the quality of the product has been so far, whether you want to stay with the same direction we've been going in, or if we want to make a change, now would be the time. Any discussion? I've been happy with the way everything's been shaken out so far. Have you had any? <coughs> the only issues I have is um, the quality of video when it goes to the the uh, TV broadcast isn't the best quality. The sound is much better. It, as you can see, we're even, we even have desktop mic now to pick us pick us up, but the um, quality is terrible. Um, the placement has gotten a little better. There's been some advertising rolling through on the screen. Um, but it's, unless you know when it is, it's hard to find it. Yeah. I, and that's something we've had an issue with in the past. But. I've lived through it once, uh, twice. I don't want to have to go through that again. Three times, <laughs> yes. once, Something about twice. watching the video on TV. <laughs> yeah, I try not to watch it because <laughs> the, the, the camera adds like 40 or 50 pounds and then you lose like 20% of your hair from what I've heard. <laughs> um, I, I think that I, I, I feel okay with it. Um, the thing is, is that if, if you feel that way, I think maybe we should send a letter saying, you know, that we're in agreement with this, but we also would like to know um, what your future plans are for. Um, and I don't know if it's a quality thing where we tape in a higher, if we, uh, what, come on on camera for a second. <laughs> Since you're here as a, not a representative, but you have a little bit of knowledge in this. Boy, you're turning red. <laughs> what, what currently are we filming in? Is it, do we film in high def? Are we filming yes, in? Yes, we do. We just um, found a camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know all the particulars, but in the translation, um, it's not on our end, it's on that the end did. Is it because we're filming in a higher grade and then when they degrade it down to the lower signal, is that's where we're losing a lot of yeah, the... Yeah, because we're doing it in high def. We're doing it in high def. Yeah. On YouTube, it looks so much better than TV quality yeah, broadcast. It's the, it's the broadcast. Um, I don't know particulars, but... Comcast or... Um, I think it would be with Comcast, yeah. Karen, yeah, it would be. Yeah. I would think it would be Comcast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You can put yourself on the film credit for that. <laughs> IMBD. Yeah, I think you should reach out to whomever is in charge of Comcast. And I know that at one point we had talked about um, trying to take some of this money that we get from um, the cable fees, the cable fees, and using it towards um, trying to negotiate a better deal with Comcast. It's so actually, I, the contract is coming up in 2020. I initiated discussions uh, between Comcast. I've uh, spoken to, I think it's Mike Gallo. Um, I've also spoken to Bill Hewig at uh, Copeland and Page because they need to be involved in the mm -hmm. discussions. And over the next, it's, it's going to take, you know, six to 12 months to negotiate a contract with them. I think the, the first step would be to uh, sit down uh, with the committee and decide, you know, specifically what it is that uh, we should be looking for in the next contract, as well as one of the things we have to do is a community needs assessment, which would be sort of a, it can be a survey monkey kind of uh, survey that can be sent out to everybody in town saying, you know, how can we make the, the service better? What would you like to see for programming? That kind of thing. And that'll give us a baseline in terms of uh, helping with the <laughs> process of negotiating. That's a, generally a requirement as part of the contract negotiation. Um, I have started working on that. All right. So if the contract is up in 2020 um, and it takes, yeah, it takes a year, six, six, six months to a year, year yeah. then so I think that we should, it would, be, it. it would behoove us to stop moving on <laughs> that and bring the. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be behooved. No, nope, we don't want to be behooved. So I think that that would be one of the things that we should stop working on. All right. So we'll put this off to the, continue this to the next meeting so we can get some answers from them, okay? Any other concerns or comments about it? Oh, no. I, I, I'm okay I, with I the compare way it is. To, if you look at Lake Cam's, if you go on Lake Cam's, it's clear. It's It's got great signal. It's great quality. The vi the audio quality is great. And you look at ours, and it's... it's Does, what does um, Lake Cam have, Verizon or Comcast? Comcast. Okay. Then we'll have to find out those answers. Okay. okay.
Discuss set meetings for economic development committee. Well, I'm sorry, that's me. Somebody needs oil now. You laugh. No, I'm not laughing. I've been out straight all week. I already had that breakdown call the other day. <laughs> um, discuss meeting with discuss and set a meeting for economic development committee. I think we should do it sooner rather than later. I can um, because we already have something that we can start working on. Yep. Um, that agreement is one of the things that we should really take a good look at and see if that's the direction that we want to go into. Um, I know that somebody had thrown out uh, maybe a lien, um, blah, 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 but those are all things that we need to talk about at that committee. Um, and really, it's an opportunity for people to be involved to say, this is what I want to see down, um, uh, this is what I want to see for the town, and this is what I don't want to come into the town. And, and um, I think that uh, the Economic Development Committee is one of those places to first start at. I agree. Perfect. So what are we looking at? Charlie, any concerns, questions, anything you... Oh, okay. I won't be here for a month. What? <clears throat> I won't be here for a month. Which month? Just February. Oh, it's a okay, short we're month. good. Me neither. So, how about um, since I'll be first mayor, week in March? Since I'll be mayor in the month of February. Mm -hmm. First one. This first month in March. The first month in March. First week in March. First week in March would be the fourth through the eighth. Or, or do you want to do it sooner, like the first week in February? Why don't we do one mid-February, and then we can mm -hmm. go... Well, we're good. Um, I can do the third week in February. Like well, actually, the last week in February. You're through the... 18th. 10th through the 18th. Hmm? No. Sixth. Well, let's get you on here till the... Tw oh, that's different. Oh, that's Sixth alley. through the 18th. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, the third week. So the third week? Um, we have a selectman's meeting on the Tuesday, because Monday's a holiday. No. And then we have police subcommittee meeting on the 21st on the Thursday. That's not me. Police station committee. Oh, it's oh. 9 a.m. Yeah, that's, that's a, a um, meeting. All right. Um, and then anti-harassment at 10.30 a.m. How about the week after, the 20? Are you back then or are you still gone? No. He's okay. gone till 3rd. 3rd or 4th of Do you mind if we have the first one without you? So how about like the 27th, Wednesday the 27th of February? Okay. You want to do, set up one more in March so we have a, a second one? <coughs> sure. We'll stick with the Wednesday. Mm -hmm. um, how about the 20th of, um, it's almost a month. How about the 20th of March on a Wednesday? Okay. those uh, at night or are they during the day? Oh, I think it would it, it would be hard to meet during the day. Yeah. All right, let's say like 6 o'clock? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Yeah. Here at 6? Mm-hmm. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Discussed act on, act on memorandum of agreement and action plan for mass development regarding former Freetown Screw. Okay, um, <coughs> I've been contacted by um, Mass Development regarding our plans for use on the Freetown School property, and uh, they have asked that I put together an action plan uh, to address how we're going to transmit the land uh, from the town uh, to uh, a party to develop uh, affordable housing, senior affordable housing, as well as small, a small commercial development that's part of that project. So what I did is I put together a letter that's going to be on their agenda, hopefully February 14th, uh, basically outlining the history of the project. There is one mistake on that lot 64. It's the wrong number uh, on page 2. Um, the change in administrators, why the project, uh, has taken as long as it has, as well as the actual act, action plan, which calls for uh, us to get uh, legislative action done to acquire the land for the uh, Freetown uh, uh, housing. Um, uh, yeah, I can draw a blank on the name. Board. Freetown Housing Authority, uh, and then seeking public uh, in business input as to how to develop the RFP. 
working with mass uh, <coughs> development to develop the RFP and develop a, a selection, develop a selection plan which would include, um, you know, how many housing units are going to be built as well as the number of units and the type of uh, uh, construction that's going to be on site. Uh, one RFP condition, uh, particularly on the Krishnit parcel, is that when unsure as to what uh, still needs to be mitigated over there in terms of uh, remedial action, um, the developer would assume that liability. Uh, and in the case that we can't get a developer to assume that liability, that we would then go out and get some money, hopefully from mass development, to take a look at it and then re advertise uh, the project again uh, to see if we can get a developer who would be interested in building the project. So this is kind of falling through the cracks when he, when Jack left, but he was the point person on that. Um, they had given us some money to um, research it and go through the process. There was some timeline production uh, quotas in there we bumped up against one because it wasn't a priority on our end and to be to fair david he didn't really even know about it until um about a month ago he got notified from them and then i said oh yeah i i it's when jack was getting off as i was getting on so there was that little layover period so i don't know i know a little bit about it but i wasn't there for most of that that was mostly through paul's administration um so we took a little we had to do a little digging david mostly did it and um got to the bottom of where we stand, what the process is, and what we have to do to satisfy them so they don't go forward on collection. Because if we didn't have an action plan by a certain date, they wanted to, one of the stipulations is mass development could get their money back. Um, so that's where we stand. That's why this is coming back to the forefront now. So what do you need from the board? Just, uh, just an approval to submit the plan. Uh, I did submit the plan to uh, Brian Noble, uh, who is the Christianet Town Administrator, he has it on his agenda also for this evening, uh, so that both towns are involved in the process, and both towns will be petitioned the legislator, uh, the legislative branch to uh, to transfer the property to the Freetown Housing Authority. Uh, uh, we, we need both parties to be involved in order to accomplish that. And once that's done, then we actually begin the process of putting together an RFP and seeking public and private input into uh, the types of development that would go there and how. Right, so do you just need an approval for, for this, this action, action plan? plan. Yeah. All right, That's I'll make a motion to approve the Freetown School action plan. Okay. Okay. Motion made and second. second. Any other discussion on the motion? Here and none. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Act on 2019 Class 2 Renewal of Chippeway Auto Sales and Bleach <coughs> Beach Bluff Auto Sales. Um, we are in possession of all their... Yep, everything's in order. Uh, we just have... Clean on MLC. Yep, clean, no, no complaints, no nothing. And no complaints. Yep. Okay. All right, make a motion to approve. I'll second that motion. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on the motion? Here and none. All in, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Act on ambulance abatement right off for the month of December 2018. It's a small month this month. And just so the board knows, too, we set up a meeting with the um, fire chief, myself, and the representative from Comstar, Comstar to see if we can abate some of these abatements because this is a small month. It's only $11,877.46 months of write offs this month, but normally it's in the twenty dollars to $30,000 range. So. When you do the math, it almost pays for the rest of his budget. <clears throat> Anyways. I'll make a motion uh, for the sums of $67,643.95 for contractual allowances and $11,877.46 for write-offs for the month of December for a total of $79,000. $521.41. Second. Motion made and second. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved Board of Selectmen's minutes for the meeting January 7th, 2019. Did we have a chance to review those minutes? Yep. Any concerns or questions? Mm -hmm. I'll entertain a motion for the approval. I'll make a motion that we uh, accept the uh, minutes as read. Second. 
Motion made and seconded. Any further discussion on the motion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Police station project update. Okay. So we had our kickoff meeting on 1220. Um, it was a <coughs> relatively uh, short meeting. We reviewed the personnel, what their responsibilities were. We reviewed the accounting practices to assure timely and proper payments. Um, we're going to use right now behind the highway barn for heavy equipment and to detour traffic. Um, we're concerned about the buses and the police uh, memorial drive. So we're going to be using um, Chase Road, but we're going to use the back of the highway department for heavy equipment and so, so forth. Um, the trailer should be going in soon. Um, the trailer will just be used for construction meetings and will be the go-to place for any on-site things that are happening. Um, we secured the contract tonight for the third party constructs construction construction testing. Um, the permit um, has been submitted and we're ready for a site plan review. I know David went to a meeting with um, Jeff and with CGA um, to review the site plan, uh, to review the plans Process. and right and that's all in, in play right now. Um, well we're gonna have another meeting on Thursday but our meeting is kicked back to January 31st. Um, they're at nine o'clock in the morning and um, that's basically where we're at right now. I don't know, do you have anything else? Uh, the only thing I would mention is that we're gonna issue the notice to proceed tomorrow. I got the information right. from Taylor today uh, on the dates so that we're ready to issue that tomorrow. Have you been in contact with Kevin to see planning I board did. schedule yes. and that stuff? Mm -hmm. I did, when I sat down with Jeff, I wanted to make sure that Kevin was there. Uh, there is a, a willingness on the part of the planning board to hold a special hearing if necessary to help you know, move the project along and keep it on its uh, its track. Okay. That's it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Town Administrator's report. Um, <clears throat> I did attend a meeting in Middleborough last week on the Asawampasit Pond Complex. I know I didn't say that, right? Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I, for some reason, I have trouble with that. Um, <laughs> on In Long Pond, uh, the meeting was uh, a joint meeting between the Board of Selectmen in Lakeville and in Middleborough. Uh, they called it primarily because of the herring run, which is proposed for the fall and what they were going to do with that. But there's also a great deal of concern by residents along Long Pond as to um, the height of the water as it currently is now. And right now it's, I guess, at 54.5 inches, uh, the uh, a feet, I should say. Uh, the limit is 57 feet, uh, so there's a potential for flooding in the spring. Uh, they're going to hold a meeting, to, uh, it was supposed to be tomorrow, January 30th at 3 o'clock, with all the uh, local emergency planning groups, and they've also invited the boards of selectmen to attend that, uh, just basically to start planning on how we're going to address any potential flooding that could happen in the spring, and how to mobilize uh, the, the uh, necessary uh, equipment and personnel needed to uh, offset that. I know that uh, the pond complex has been a long discussion about that in terms of uh, reducing the level of weeds, the need for dredging, and, and the millifoil that currently exists in uh, the complex. Uh, and uh, I've talked to uh, the representative, Fiola, uh, and I'm going to be talking to the Representative Smith and uh, Senator Rodericks uh, about uh, potentially uh, funding uh, some kind of uh, like a line in the budget, state budget, to help us with this. I know there's discussion among the other parties to do the same, so hopefully that will come out and it will be a unified front in terms of our legislative delegation being aware of this problem and helping us to address it. So this has been an ongoing problem for about 10 years now. Um, and the thing is, is that we're, we're hooked into this pond complex where Middleborough is concerned with their heron run, but yet um, Lakeville and Freetown are concerned with flooding. And it's always this give and take. And um, way back when, uh, New Bedford was involved from... Quiticus. Right. And uh, Taunton, Middleborough, um, Freetown, Lakeville. And we had our meetings held at uh, DEP because um, there was a concern and it, it was foreseen that this was going to happen um, and nothing was ever done. Um, and I gave um, David all the history that I had in my head. Um, and I know that uh, there are files somewhere um, that he can look at. But um, 
you know, all those meetings were held at DEP, and it was a big, big concern, and there's no way that anybody's going to take care of the evasive weeds um, and everything that needs to be done with that pond on um, a taxpayer's dime. It really has to be taken over by the state. Not taken over, but it needs to be addressed by the state because that's the only way we're going to do anything. There's all these uh, little tributaries that are that are full with weeds, and not only weeds, but, like, that, that need to be dredged, that need to be... You know, um, opened up so so the f natural flow of the pond can take care of what it needs to take care of. Right now, the pond is stagnant, and the only thing that it's doing is rising. And I'm concerned not only um, what's going to happen in the spring, but I'm concerned right now because we're at 54, and um, this weekend we're supposed to, or Thursday we're supposed to have a lot more rain. And if we don't have <coughs> snow and we continue down the path of just having rain, it's not going to be that far along before we hit the 57. Um, if anybody wants to take a look at the measuring stick, it's at uh, uh, Cathedral it's at Camp. The field yeah. camp if, um, Paul Sadik has control over that or he knows where it is. He I knows where it is, yeah. So, so yeah, having our, um, having our voices at the table is huge because we cannot be we cannot have our residents who live along pond live along the pond be held up because of there needs to be a balance between the heron run and the residents along long pond right basically it comes down the drainage mm -hmm. one drains into the next yeah, so it, it goes like this right so <clears throat> at long pond drains into asawamsit which drains into the river which is the heron run spawning area so if you dump too much water it washes the heron right. run through and so they want to retain some of the water back, which causes all pond levels to rise. Originally, we weren't necessarily invited to that meeting. We kind of I found out about the meeting. Crashed the meeting, and invited ourselves because we, you know, our residents are affected by right. half and that pond also. So I found out the morning of, and and I did get up and make mention of the fact that you know we want to partner with the other communities to help solve the problem. And the fact that we have received uh, probably four calls over the last couple of weeks concerned about the water levels and what was going to be done and we all remember 2010 the flooding in that area the water was over the boat ramp was running across the mm -hmm. street so we actually had sections closed where the national guard was over by slips marine yep and uh, people lost their houses and had to rebuild so right i don't really want to see that again thank you Oh. Anything else on your time, Mr. Uh, I got uh, <coughs> information from Ashley Lopes, the uh, school building, school uh, department business uh, manager, that the boiler has been completed, uh, and that I w just wanted to give a shout out to her, saying thank you for all the work she did to help us along with that. Um, the LED lighting, I've been working with MAPC to. Um, Basically, uh, try to uh, develop a LED lighting plan for the, all the 81 lights that we have in town. And I just wanted the board to know that I am going to be uh, do having a street light audit done. Um, the estimated cost of that is $850 to $1,500. Uh, uh, and uh, what that would do is basically it, we, uh, it's done through an MAPC, a consultant, and they go out and they took a look, look at every single light. They determine the luminosity of it, um, the, the uh, type of light it is, uh, whether there are obstacles around the light, such as tree branches. And they make a recommendation in terms of what would be recommended for an LED light to replace it. Um, I guess there's a, uh, in terms of the LED light itself, there's different coloring in the light, and we have to be really careful about that. I'm hoping. MAPC is going to help us along <coughs> with that process uh, to select the best kind of light for the best type of uh, environment that it's going to be going in. So I just wanted to give the board a heads up on that. I uh, have a department head meeting scheduled for 1.30, 19. Uh, on the agenda is the consolidated facilities budget. Um, I'm going to be sitting down to meet with all the department heads the first week in February to go over their budgets. <coughs> Uh, we're going to address the fraud policy, which the board had uh, approved uh, probably like three or four months ago uh, as a policy. It requires, we're going to develop a form and uh, basically have all the departments inventory uh, certain things and in, in, uh, within a certain threshold, I believe it's $5,000. Uh, 
so that we have an accurate inventory of all of our assets. Um, and finally, I just have it on here about the notice to proceed that we're issuing the notice to proceed on the police station building. So that's it. Thank you. Discuss combined facilities budget, as you just mentioned. We all have a copy of that in front of us in yellow. <coughs> I worked with Kim to put together uh, uh, basically a, uh, a spreadsheet that will identify uh, specifically, so we the individual departments don't lose control of, uh, you know, or the board understands what each of the individuals have for a budget and how it, uh, they uh, incur expense against it. So while it is going to be under our control, uh, the Board of Selectmen, what it will do is it will segregate it into an aggregate so we can basically track what's happening in, in each of those individual budgets uh, for certain types of utilities and services, as well as building maintenance. It's just a way to consolidate everything that is categorically in the same group uh, under one budget in one place, rather than these uh, broken out in individual lines uh, in individual budgets. Questions? Um, if we're going to, if we want to know how much each. The top header is all right. the departments. So we're going to be able to see that and yes. know that answer? Yes. So now when they That's submit, the intent of that. when they submit their budgets, they're going to submit what they normally submit for their electrical budget, say and for example. We, yeah, we're and then we'll it. we'll put it in our aggregate electric budget. Yep. So how would? Oh, I I wouldn't. Uh, all right. That's, That's not what, how I was seeing it. I was seeing it as every department was going to reduce their budget by this amount, and there would be a oh, certain yeah, can, yeah. a certain line item that would say electricity, and then have that. But they would amount. still yeah, want to it. submit that to us, so we know which what's coming out of that budget, so you know. Okay, um, for electrical, for example, police stations taking out sixteen thousand on electrical out of their budget, and so it's going to go in that other. It's the same. It's saying the same. Yeah, it's going to be going into this budget. Under right. Police. Right. It's going so, to come out of their budget into this budget, but they're going to have to show you what that is. Right. So I, I would want to see police. Sorry, Carlton. It's here. Um, with a. Um, that was just an example. It wasn't just picking right. your department. No, no, no. So. I, yeah. Right, so I want to see police department with a reduced budget of $27,515. Yes, it'll, it'll come back okay. to a reduction in their original budget. Right. It, the nice thing it's going to allow you to do, the Board of Selectmen, is if the police budget is running over for some reason on the electrical mm -hmm. and the highway department's running under, because it's approved at town meeting as electrical, not specific, you know, you don't have to do emergency fund transfers because his department happens to be over. Even though the money's there in another department, <coughs> you don't have to move money around like that. It's in an aggregate. So I think that when you get all the budgets, you would go through them and you would look at how much you're going to reduce their budget by before giving us the final number. Yes, we're okay. working on that. That's contemplated. Well, that's what, I, my, that's what I was trying to say. Is the department head, when, he submits this, <coughs> when they submit their budget, should submit that number and say, this is what we have taken out for electric and all these out of my, our budgets. Mm -hmm. And you have to put into your aggregate budgets. Charlie, questions, concern? I, I got it. Makes sense. Okay. Board of Health. Nothing. Personal. Uh, uh, only, oh. only that. Um, I, there is nothing really on the agenda, but just really, these cold temperatures are um, a, ridiculous right now, and you never know who's on the side of you. So, if you have an elderly um, um, friend or neighbor, please just check in on them, and please make sure that all your pets are brought inside. We don't want to see pets outside during these temperatures, um, but really just check on one another um, and, you know, um, do what we need to do. And if temperatures get to a certain point where we need to open up a warming station, we will do that and we will consider that. But right now, just please check on one another. That's it. We usually do warming stations when it gets to a certain temperature. Yep. That's okay. it. That's it. For Personal me. board. All right. First item is the appointment of Aaron. Kenna, uh, as the uh, senior clerk for the Council on Aging, we have a letter uh, requesting that she be appointed, and also um, <coughs> a change of status uh, slip for the senior clerk for COA starting at step, step 1, 16, 63, per hour for 16 hours. Um, all right, do you, I, I know the letter says, um, 
Should we vote on both of them in case Erin mm -hmm. says no and Lori wants to? Then that way we won't have to wait on it. So, all right, I'll make a motion to approve um, Erin Kinane, um and alternate choice Lori Cook for um, the Council on Aging um, senior clerk position. Second. Motion made and uh, seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Should we make a motion to sign the certificate of appointment and the change of status forms for Aaron Kinane, Kinane, Kinane whatever? Kinane. Kinane. Um, provisionally, that as long as she accepts the position, because we have them in front of us, it's on the agenda, so we can do that. Yeah. I'll make that a motion. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next is a. Uh, Change of status for Robert Kavaka uh, for uh, resigning as the assistant uh, transfer station attendant. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Motion made and second. Is there any further discussion? No. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. I believe we said to send him a letter thanking him for his service at the last meeting, correct? Okay. Yep. Thank you. <coughs> Next is a certificate of appointment for Chelsea Hester uh, for the appointment as senior librarian, effective June 30th, 2019. I'll make a motion to appoint Chelsea Hester as senior librarian, effective January 17, 17 2019. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. <coughs> um, the next one. Two of them, 18 and 19? Uh, yes, uh, well, as a, as a, uh, to Mr. Memo, just. Uh, yep, the two of them, okay. 18 and 19. So we're going to 20. Uh, and we want to Nicholas Drinkwine uh, and change his status from step one patrol officers to step two patrol officers. 20, 2971. Uh, 2914. Uh, tw 2941? 2941. Yep. I'll make that motion. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next item is to re um, reaffirm the uh, vote to accept uh, Officer John Pina III on resignation from the police department. No, there. <coughs> I'll make a motion to reaffirm the vote taken on January 7th uh, regarding the letter of resignation from John Pena the third. Second. Motion made and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. And the same with the change of status form uh, to resign. I'll make a motion to endorse the change of status form for John Pena the third, effective uh, January, uh, January 20th, 2019. Second. Motion made in second. Any further discussion? That was regretfully. Right. <coughs> Why well, I, ju I jumped over uh, oh, uh, Nathan uh, Benello for a minute is uh, that. Point about, point about Charlie, you get to call the vote on. Oh, uh, they call the vote? On no, sir. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sorry, Charlie, I just didn't want to have to reaffirm it again next month. <laughs> <laughs> next meeting. Uh, um, is last week we had a situation in town where uh, a person, there was a call of a domestic disturbance, ended up with a person being armed, uh, being in the household with a uh, elderly um, family member also. Um, and <coughs> Sergeant, uh, uh, Sergeant uh, Elton Ashley, um, Patrolman um, Patrick Lee, and Patrol Officer Nate uh, Mello responded. And um, it was it actually it was a, a situation where they could have used deadly force and they chose to confront a man who was holding a knife uh, by tasering him and they were uh, gladly we can say they were successful uh, and they took him into custody so I just um, I had spoken to the chief already and in the future in about a month or so we're going to have an award ceremony for these officers several others and potentially maybe some firefighters. I also mentioned it to the chief. But they, they put
put themselves, they, they could have used a firearm, and they didn't. And they, put them, they all put themselves in danger. I think we need to uh, realize that. And the fact that Nathan's being, uh, being appointed a, re a full time reserve tonight, and uh, hopefully he'll be filling the uh, vacancy that opened. I just wanted to make that note. Sounds like a good idea. And I just bled some blue there. <laughs> <coughs> uh, all right, uh, so I'll make a, uh, I'll accept the motion to uh, accept the appointment slip. I'll happily make the motion to appoint Nathan Mello temporary 40 hour per week reserve officer submitted by Chief effective January 21st, 2019, and make motion to sign change of status form for Nathan Mello reserve officer temporary 40 hour week as submitted by. Um, Chief Carlton Abbott at the sorry I'm out of order because we skipped it. Yes, please. Twenty seven seventeen. Twenty seven seventeen. Thank you. Second. Uh, motion made and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. New business, dates of upcoming Board of Selectments meeting, Monday, February 4th, Tuesday, February 19th, Monday, March 4th, Monday, March 18th. Um, I had a, an email, so this will go into new business. I had an email sent um, wanting to know when we would have the next um, town building committee meeting. So Full, full committee? Mm -hmm. okay. um, when the chair calls it. <laughs> yeah. Um, let me do some heavy duty thinking about this right now. Anyway, um, so we might have to look for some time, but let's do it when you get back. All right. So, because February is like going to be too squishy. So, you're going to have to put your to budgets together pretty soon. So, if there's anything that comes up that you need money for, you have to put your budget together for town meeting. So. Right. All right. That being all the business duly in front of the board. We can enter executive session, Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining with the Freetown Police Union because an open meeting law, open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the public body, and this chair so declares it does. Mass General Law, Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining with the town and hall union because an open meeting law may have detrimental effect on the bargaining position and the public bar of the public body and the chair does so declare mass general law chapter 38 section 21 a3 to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining with the highway union because the open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining position of the public body and the chair so declares and mass general law chapter 38 section 21 a3 to discuss strategy with respect to litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental effect on the litigation position of the public body and this chair does so declare excel recycling llc versus town of freetown I'll detain a motion to enter into executive session. Make that motion. I'll second the motion. Motion made and seconding discussion on the motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mr. Sullivan? Aye. Aye. Ms. Pacheco? Yes. Mr. Joes? Yes. We are in executive session.